Stephen Twitch Boss recently passed away, and there's been a lot of talk about his wife taking over his estate and going after all of his money. Well, let's sort of talk about this. Yeah. Welcome to the video. One of the first things I want to do is, I, I don't know. I don't know where to start. There are actually a couple of places I want to start, but I think the first thing I'm going to do is just go over to her Instagram account here where you can actually see them as a couple. There are a couple of things I want to point out before I actually head over to the paperwork to show you what she most likely filled out in regards to his estate. Now, She's got 3.8 million followers. Of course, you know, he was on the show. I'm trying to turn that off. I'm sorry. Um, what is her name? I've forgotten her name. Mm, yes. Okay. But in any case, let's take a look at this. You can see all of their posts here on her Instagram page. We were really familiar with them doing dances together. That is where I first found out about them. I did not even know he was on the Ellen show because I don't watch the Ellen show. I didn't know that she was a former dancer and had been on Dancing with the Stars. I didn't know any of that. I only saw them doing dance shorts on, I guess, I don't know, YouTube, TikTok, whatever. That was how I got familiar with them. Now, if you see me scrolling through their page here, you can see that you know, they presented an image of this family. They've got their kids there. They're doing some dances. They're all dressed up for, I don't know, it looks like a mix of Wakanda and something else for Halloween. There we go, Wakanda forever. So there's a lot going on here on their Instagram page. So that's really great. What I want to now go to is just talk about some of what's being said. <laughs> And as an attorney, I want to talk about this from a couple of different perspectives. One is, well, what do you expect her to do? And number two is, this is something we should be a little bit more prepared for. So number one, my understanding is they were married. She had a prior child from another relationship, and then they had their own kids. So upon his death, he did not have a will. You guys, let me just go down the list for you, because there was this conversation that I saw that tried to make it sound suspicious that he did not have a will. According to, because I wrote it down because I wanted to make sure we got this right. According to a CNBC article that I read, 70% of Black people don't have a will. He was a Black man. Consumer Reports says 77% of Black people do not have a will. Ebony.com said 70%. And the root switched around and said only 27% of Black people have a will. So this is nothing suspicious. It is not suspicious that he did not have a will. And if you need more proof, let me go down some names of people that you may have heard of. Tupac Shakur did not have a will. Kurt Cobain died at the age of 27. An estate that might have been valued at over 400 million died without a will. Aretha Franklin had a handwritten will that was eventually found, but it was unauthenticated. So she kind of got the process started, but it wasn't quite what it needed to be. Prince, 57 years old, estimated that he had a 200 million plus estate that wound up going to his sister and five half siblings. He did not have a will. Chadwick Boseman, just died not too recently, did not have a will. John Denver, Amy Winehouse, four plus million estate, died at the age of 27. You know, typically when people are younger, they are not thinking that I need to be making an estate plan, especially if you're single and you don't have children. It's not something you're thinking about. A lot of these people are really young. Bob Marley, 36. Sonny Bono, 62. Jimi Hendrix, 57, died in 1970 with an estimated $80 million estate. So this whole idea that there was something fishy because he did not have a will, like I just said, 70, 75, whatever you want, whatever number you want to go with, we'll just say that most Black people do not have a will. So let me know in the comments right now, 
regardless of what your ethnicity is, let me know in the comments whether or not you have a will, whether or not your family members have a will. Hey, have you taken the steps to look after who might be the guardian of your children, your child or your children, if you're gone? Usually people who have children go ahead and are more likely to have a will. But for everyone else, yeah, especially if you're young, you may not have a will. It might not be something you're thinking about. So here's the other thing. Okay, so now that we have gotten that cleared up, okay, that there's nothing suspicious about him not having a will, that that's the status quo for a lot of people. Let's talk about why what she is doing is not suspicious. They have children together. Would you... You would think, you would think, and wouldn't you want the same thing? Wouldn't you want your spouse to be able to make sure everything was okay with your state so that you could keep paying for the house, paying for the cards? Now, I'm not saying that she doesn't have her own income, but you want those children to continue to be taken care of, right? To be able to buy the needs that they have, medical and health expenses, school expenses, so this sort of idea that she's doing something tricky out here or she's trying to take his money as if they don't have kids, they didn't have kids together that I just think that as a person, he would want to continue to have his kids taken care of. From what I saw about him, he seemed like the person to me that yes, he was struggling with something but I believe that in his heart, he would want his children taken care of. So let me put that out there. There is nothing funny about that. Now, next, I wanna go over to the actual document that she used because I want you to get an understanding for, for how not special this was. And I'm gonna pull up this document. The, the, the state of California, which is where they are, have a whole set of forms and guides that people can follow for estate purposes. Not everyone has a mega estate. Most people have very small estates and lots of states have started to put in special procedures and practices for smaller estates so that they don't have to have as much paperwork. They just wanna be able to check the box, make sure the right person is showing up and claiming ownership of the estate that that person has. Let me click over to the right page here so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about if I can find it. So I think we're going to the spousal and domestic partner property partition. So this is one of their pages here. Let me make sure you can see this good here. I'm down here in the corner. Okay, I guess that works. And when you look at this page, you can see they have California Courts Self-Help Guide. You guys, there's nothing special about this that she's doing. These are forms that anybody in the state of South Carolina can go and fill out as part of the probate process for someone's estate. And this is what you want to do. So this is most likely, there might be another form, I might not have pulled up the exact one, but this is most likely the type of form that she filled out for the state of California. Now, each state is responsible for setting up its own procedures and forms and laws that you have to follow. So whatever state you're in, they're going to have their own thing. All right. So it looks like it's like two pages here. And one of the things that someone said Again, I don't want to sound like I'm being so harsh on people because they don't know the process, but I think what sort of bothered me about it was we want people to have wills. We want people to know that there are forms out there. And here's a really important piece about this. We want people to verify who they are. There was a comment that I read. It was something like, oh, and she had to prove that she was his spouse. So why did she even have to prove that she was his spouse if she was his spouse? It's kind of like going to the bank, even though it's your account. In that 
bank agreement that you signed when you got that account, there was most likely some language in there that said, hey, if we show up, if you show up, even though it's your money and your account, we are still going to request identification. Well, the same thing here, okay? Yes, they may have had a marriage certificate. Yes, they may have been married X number of years. Yes, they may have purchased property together and had kids together. But if someone shows up claiming to be the spouse of the decedent, yes, the law is going to require you to verify that you are the spouse. People, there are so many scams going on, so much identity theft. You would want people to verify that they are the proper people. So let's just understand that this is a good thing. This is nothing special. This is standard. This is what I'm trying to um, get across to people because I know there's been some conversation about, about his passing and now about his estate as if, as if she's doing something suspicious and it's not, okay? Like many people, he did not have a will, at least not one that anyone's been able to find. And there's nothing suspicious about that. I already told you the statistics around that. Most Black people don't have wills. Many entertainers, many people in that profession have died without wills. So this is not anything that's out of the ordinary. If you know someone who has a will, then that is great because they're probably ahead of the game. If you don't have a will, go ahead and get started. It's one of those things you can probably go online and do now yourself. There's lots of resources out there, especially if you have a small estate. Now, if you have a more elaborate estate, then there might be some things that you want to look out for, especially taxes. So get with your accountant, get with your attorney in your state, figure out what your estate plan needs to be and get it done. Sounds like something I need to do. All right. So that's it. Peace to everyone. Hope you now understand everything that's going on around that estate process. If so, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And my, I guess my piece came early, but peace.